I found this guy hanging out on my citrus plant yesterday and it was on the leaf. At the time I thought it was a cocoon of some sort being super still, not moving. Um, so today I decided to do some research and luckily when I came back outside to see if there is any damage on my citrus leaves, this little guy was still here. So I thought it'd be cool to shoot a video in case it shows up on anyone else's citrus plants. And you're curious as well. Now, um, this caterpillar is actually known as the orange dog caterpillar. Um, to me, it looks like bird, bird poop on my citrus plant. It really does. That's what I thought it was at first. And they say it gets its name two different ways that I've heard. One is because it eats the leaves of citrus and in areas where it's heavily populated can be a serious problem for citrus especially young citrus um but also because when it gets angry or upset it shoots off two um antenna looking things and i heard that they are its tongue and it's actually a scent gland that comes off and it wards off predators but it really looks like a forked snake's tongue and it did it to me earlier just by pure accident of me trying to get close enough to take a photo of it but it seems pretty used to me now because it takes a while to focus in the camera to get a photo um let's see if i can't it's definitely not impressed with me look at that Oh, there it is. So that right there, that orange fork, is the scent gland to ward off predators, which is really cool. Now, as far as I know, and from what I've seen researching, these caterpillars don't bite. I still think it's really cool to get to see this little guy up close and personal. And the one thing that I really love about homesteading and gardening is getting to learn about different... Um, pest but also pollinators because a lot of these pests are actually going to be pollinators in the future as long as we can keep in checks and balances so this is ugliest <laughs> caterpillar I've ever seen probably in my life it really it looks something out of a horror movie um, but it's really cool and harmless and I'm not even kidding when I say when it's on the leaf it really does look like a bird flew by and used the bathroom on your plant but it does do some damage to citrus um this is a type of sumatsu orange a small orange and you can kind of see the leaf damage that has been done by this butterfly um larva and these leaves were not like this yesterday they were completely whole so it's done quite a bit of damage to a very small plant if you have a plant that is this small i highly recommend picking this guy off because that is not good and you can see this actually is a tag when you buy citrus here in texas it comes with this saying that they were treated for certain pests because if you drive down the highway down the road from here, there's actually signs along the highway saying citrus quarantine area to keep us from transporting citrus in and out of the state because of different pest problems that we do have here. And I can't remember exactly what this plant's been treated for, but if I was to take this off, it does tell, tell me what it was sprayed with and for. However, that's what I'm using to tie up my tree. <laughs> Um, to the stake to help it kind of get sturdy because it's a little baby tree and with the amount of damage on all these leaves done by just one of these guys I can't imagine what it could look like if there were a whole outbreak several of these on one citrus I haven't had a chance to go around and check out my other citrus plants and see if they were heavily damaged by this if so it could be an issue um, the good thing is if you leave it be then it'll grow up to be a really cool beautiful and large pollinator and swallowtail butterfly the downside is that um, if you have a small citrus plant it may not benefit from having well obviously won't benefit from having pretty extreme damage on the leaves but it may just be a really uh, bad thing for your plant
part of me is kind of grateful that I don't have any eggs on my plant to show you because I don't think this plant could survive many more leaves being eaten, but I am a little disappointed that I don't get to show you all at the same time. Um, it is really easy to tell if you have this caterpillar's eggs, swallowtail butterfly eggs, the giant ones, they look like little miniature oranges, little orange balls, and they're very obvious. They kind of remind me of an orange pearl, and they get laid up on the leaves of the plant, and then they hatch into these guys, which is pretty cool. Um, fun fact before I let you guys go, I just kind of wanted to make a cool video about this butterfly in case anyone else is experiencing some pretty heavy munching of their citrus leaves. They are attracted to multiple types of citrus and other plants as well, such as rue, so don't be surprised. Now these are not the same swallowtail butterflies that feed on dill. That is a different type. That is the black swallowtail butterfly if I'm not mistaken. This is a much larger butterfly. It also, um, I think it's really important to note that the female butterflies prefer laying their eggs on the new growth. So if you have some nice new growth coming out, it's usually a little lighter in color than the darker green leaves that is often where you will find these eggs. I didn't even find the egg yesterday. I just happened to find this butterfly and think it was a cocoon. Um, today when I thought about it, I came out to see if it damaged uh, my plant severely since I realized it was actually a butterfly and found it still here hanging out on my tree and munching on the leaves. So. Now these caterpillars, you can pick them off with your bare hands. If you've been following me for any amount of time, um, you know that my one weakness in life is caterpillars. I don't know why I could grab just about anything else, but caterpillars are not my thing. And so I will not be grabbing this guy off this plant with my bare hand whatsoever. If it does become a problem, I will throw it out to my ducks and let them eat it, just to be honest, because I'm not about to lose all of my brand new citrus plants in my garden <laughs> um, to this guy. But as long as it doesn't become too intense of a problem, I'm fine with letting it turn into a butterfly. I'd really love to see a giant swallowtail hanging out in my yard. That That's pretty cool in itself. And I'm really interested to see what it looks like um, when it starts to develop and go through its next stage of life. So that should be pretty interesting. Um, I don't know if it will form a cocoon on this plant or how that happens to be perfectly honest. So if anyone's watching this and they happen to know a lot more about this caterpillar in its various stages and the butterfly than I do, please feel free to comment and let me know, um, pass down the knowledge because I'm really interested in learning and I love taking these videos and showing my kids and showing other people. It's just a really fun way to make community and learn about things that are going on in our garden that we otherwise just wouldn't know about. 